Hello everyone, Dhruvo here. Welcome you again in this advanced Java programming series. So previously we discussed about a couple of topics like functional interface, predicate interface, etc. So in this video we are going to discuss about method reference. So let's understand what is method reference. Method reference is used to refer method of functional interface. It is a style of implementing methods available within functional interface. We can implement functional interface using lambda expression, but instead of using lambda expression, we can also use method reference style of implementation. Even it is more concise than lambda expression. So when we use method reference, syntactically we write class name, then double colon, and then method name. So there are three types of method reference. The first one is static method reference. So when you use static method reference, that class name has to be a functional interface and method name will be a static method. In case of instance method reference, we'll use reference variable name of an object, which has to be instantiated first, and then one method available within that object. And third type of method reference is constructor method reference. So in case of constructed method reference, we use class name and then double colon new. So that means it will return an object of that specific class. Let's move to an ID and implement this type of method references. Now I have created a demo method reference example Java project in my ID. So our objective of this example is to demonstrate the static method reference, how you can use static method reference. So just to do that, let's create a functional interface first and then we will leverage that functional interface in our another test class. So let's use package name as com.example.functionalInterface fi and then interface name doable. Let's create it. Let me annotate functional interface. Also define a method. Let's say do it. And also let me define a static method here. So here I'm just using a CISO. So this is our functional interface. Let's create another test class. So now I'm using class name as static method reference example one and package name is com.examples.methodreference which is MR. So let's use main method to invoke this application. So let me remove this line. Now, if you would use a lambda expression to implement the do it method of doable interface, how do you write it? So we will write like this. So basically we are providing an implementation of do it method of doable interface. So if we want to invoke the doable do it, we just write so now if we run this program, we get output not a static method, right? So now let's assume that we want to use static method defined in the doable interface. So let me go back. So here what we can do, we can write doable and then use a different variable doable2 and write instead of using lambda expression, we can use a method reference style, which is basically the class name doable then double colon and static method name. Now we can invoke on doable2 dot do it. So if we run this program now, we get output, this is output of static method, right? The first one is for lambda expression implementation and second one is the static method reference implementation. So this is the first example of using method reference. So let's see another example. Let's copy this class and recreate it again. This is example two. So if I open static method reference example two, let me delete this. In this case, we will see using static method from another class. Let's define a static method here. Public static void. Let's name it do something. If I use CSO, I'm playing guitar. Now, if you want to use this do something method here using method reference, what you will do, 
you can use a functional reference like doable and then use a variable name equal to if you use method reference now in this case you have to use if you remember the style of method reference using static method is class name so you can use class name and then double colon and method name right now if you invoke doable dot do it so if i run this program we'll see i am playing guitar right so basically we are providing the implementation of do it method of doable interface referring static method defined in the static method reference example 2 that means do something and in this line we are just invoking doable dot do it so it will execute this implementation so this is another way of using static method instead of using static method defined in functional interface we can also use static method from another class any class so let me close all these windows before going to the next example in our next example we'll see how to use instance method reference so let me create another class naming instance method reference example so here we can use instance method reference example 3 now in our previous example we have seen how to use static method reference now let's see how we can use non-static method if i remove static identifier so now this do something method is a non-static method right so let's change this to so what we can do usual javascript right so before using a non-static method we have to instantiate that object right so we can what we can do So now if we use this reference variable name here it will be compliant so compiler is now happy so now if we invoke doable dot do it let's see what happens see it is printing this is a non-static method so basically we are using second type of method reference which is instance method reference so we are creating an instance of this class and referring that object by using that instance reference variable and using do something method name which is a non-static method and invoking doable dot do it which is functional interface abstract single method this is the way of using instance method reference now in our next example we will learn how to use constructor method reference so let me close this so let me create a constructor method reference class example 4 and let me use void main so our objective is to use a constructor right so so let me create a business object first so let's create a student object package we can use com dot examples dot bio student and in this student object we can use a property name so using name we can create constructor and then also we can use get a setter it is not required here but still we can create and also we can create a two string method so this is our student object we have a student constructor method which is taking name from its invoker and assigning that name to the newly instantiated student object so let's create a functional interface to use that student object let's call it person and here define a method and this is a functional interface so we can define a single abstract method like get student where we will be passing the name of the student and this one will return student so we are done with the functional interface which is person oh, i have done a mistake so let me rename it okay now this is fine so we have created a student object we have created a functional interface so let's go back to the constructor method reference class so we'll see how to use constructor method reference so in method reference style of implementation we always need to use a functional interface so let's use person which is a functional interface so now if we want to instantiate a student object what we can do student and then double colon new so this is the way of implementing constructor method reference so instead of using new student we can use student double colon new so it will return a student object 
so what we can do we can call person dot get student right we can pass a student name let's say rick now this get student method is returning student right so what we can do we can create a student reference just to verify whether student object is created or not what we can do we can write a CSO and write that student so if we run this program now we can see student name rick so what is happening here as i mentioned the student double colon new is returning the student object so we can invoke the get student defined in the person functional interface get student is a single abstract method so we can pass rick it will automatically invoke constructor of student class and return a new student object so we can refer that student object using student variable and then we can use that student variable whatever way we want so that's it guys so in this video we have learned about how to use different type of method reference first one is static method reference where we are using static method second one is instant method reference where we can use a non-static method by instantiating that particular class and then use it and lastly we have used constructed method reference where we have created a object student and we have defined the constructor and using it so basically we have experienced these three types of method references so that's it guys so hope you like this video so if you like it please subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be automatically notified whenever i publish a new videos thank you